Hey there everyone, Muckluck Douglas Bartholomew Reginald Esquire the Fourth here with a short guide on the ways to get Mystic Clovers and Mystic Coins in Guild Wars 2. This information won't be new to most veteran players, but it is something I get asked a lot during streams and I thought it would be good to have this. Mystic Clovers and Mystic Coins are used for many things in the game, but most notably, crafting legendaries. You can go a very long time in the game without ever needing them and then suddenly need 77 clovers and 250 coins to craft a legendary item and be blocked from continuing. So where can we get these coveted currencies? Let's start with the Mystic Coin. You earn Mystic Coins from daily login rewards. You will get a total of 20 coins per month if you log in once a day. This means if you have alt accounts and log into those once a day as well and do nothing else, they will also generate 20 coins per month, which you can then mail to your main account. You can get one coin per day from defeating the Ley Line Anonymous Anomaly World Boss. As always, you can check to see if it's up or if it's going to spawn soon by simply typing slash wiki space ET. That is short for event timer. In game to pull up this website and see if it is spawning soon and where. Mystic Coins are also a reward from Fractals 98, 99, and 100 on their challenge modes. Every boss in the challenge mode version of those three fractals can drop zero to three coins. Competing in a daily or monthly automated tournament in Conquest PvP. A daily automated tournament can get you up to 5 Mystic Coins, and a monthly can get you up to 100. Daily Fractal Chests. These boxes that you get from doing whatever the Daily Fractal is, as you can see here, Chaos is one of them at the time of filming, can sometimes give you coins. On some days there will be a daily quest in here to make something in the Mystic Forge. Just hurl four blue items or four insignias or four medallions into the forge to get this done easily and cheaply, and the reward for that daily when it is available is one mystic coin. The trading post. You can buy them from other players if you wish. The price will vary greatly over time. Those are most of the realistic ways to get mystic coins. Let's take a look at Mystic Clovers. From your daily login rewards, on day 28, you'll get a chest of loyalty. Among its contents, you'll get to choose one of four chests. The chest of legendary crafting materials has seven Mystic Clovers in it. Most... Not all, but most of the reward tracks in PvP and World v World have Mystic Clovers at the end of them. Similar to the reward tracks, the Legion reward boxes from the repeatable achievements in Drizzlewood can give Clovers. I highly recommend visiting Drizzlewood daily for a few seconds to do the trades here at the Quaestar. It takes very little time and progresses you toward the next Clover Cache and many other rewards on the way there, such as a box of 100 blood or a box of 100 ore, etc. You can buy two clovers per day from the Fractal Merchant. The cost of buying them includes a Mystic Coin as well as 150 Fractal Relics. This means if you buy two every day, you will be draining your relics, which can impede you if you are trying to reach the Fractal God title or work on the Fractal Legendary Backpack. But if you have no need of them, this is a great way to spend them. Crafting. Yep, you can craft Mystic Clovers. But don't breathe a sigh of relief yet, kids, because this recipe sucks. You can attempt to craft one clover at a time with this recipe, or craft ten at a time with this one. Player testing shows the success rate of each recipe is about 30%. When you fail to make a clover, the items you get back will vary from Mystic Coins to Lumber or... or garbage. Although clovers are not tradable, since mystic coins are, if you get stuck on a clover step, you can throw gold at the problem by buying mystic coins and gamble forging them into clovers. If you are new to the game, these are very much an end game resource. It is very tempting to sell your first few login reward mystic coins to get some early gold on a new account. And honestly, if you need bags and stuff still, go for it. But at some point, if you have any intention of legendary crafting, start stockpiling these things. You basically get them for free very, very slowly. It is only expensive if you try to rush it out. Those are all the reliable ways I know of obtaining Mystic Clovers and Mystic Coins. If you know any tips or tricks on these that I've missed here that you think will help new players, please feel free to post them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe for more similar content. That's it for today. Happy gathering!